Hi guys! Hi mga kabatang, mga kababayan ko. So, nandito po ako para i-share sa inyo sa title nga Don't ever come here in Canada if number one if you want an easy job. So, kung titingnan mo, parang madali lang, di ba? Hindi siya madali or easy per se kasi nga, if you think about it nung nag-apply ka, bakit Uh, the government required us to have a proof of funds. So, at this time, and dyan, ito yung price. Each family member, you should have a POF. So, equivalent to more or less, it's 492,000, right? So, ganun. Kasi nga, pagdating mo dito, uh, medyo matagal yung waiting for application of job and then para may may pondo ka rin para pambayad sa bahay, pagkain mo habang wala ka pang trabaho unless mayroon ka ng employer na pagtatrabahuan pero in the contrary actually madali lang kung hindi ka mapili sa trabaho pero kung ikaw ay katulad ko na mapili sa trabaho mahirapan ka talaga pero no choice ako nung dumating ako dito. So, kailangan ko tanggapin na maging janitor at maglilis sa mga restaurants. And then after that, factory worker. ba diba? So, kung ikaw ay doktor, ikaw ay lawyer, dentista, nurse, I'm sorry to tell you, hindi mo magagamit yung iyong profession dito unless mag-aral ka uli or may corresponding um, education para doon. So, Pwede mo naman practice kahit pa paano may mga kaibigan ako gano'n ang ginawa. So, yun nga. Kaya karamihan yung mga kababayan natin dito. Ginagawa, trabaho-trabaho muna. Siyempre, mabababang trabaho. And then, pag nakaipon, then aral, sabay-aral. And then, pag nakagraduate, yun, makakakusay na maganda trabaho. Kaya nga, yung iba, mga bata dito, dito nag nakapag-aral, magaganda trabaho nila. Trabaho nila. So, number two. Ayan, nandiyan. Hindi mo kaya yung lamig, don't go, don't go. Honestly, personally, ako, I really hate, sorry for the word, I really hate uh, cold weather. So, um, so far, siguro ang pinaka na-experience ko na, na pinaka malamig is negative 23, something like that. In duration na nandito ako for 9 years. So, ito, it So far, ang pinaka-goldest ay ito, nangyari noong 1981. Dito sa Toronto, uh, I don't know, uh, sa ibang part ng, ng Canada, ibang ibang provinces. And as far as I know, malamig sa Winnipeg, Manitoba, and lalo na sa Norte, bandang Norte, Yellow Knife, that's the coldest part. Kaya mo? Then come here. Alright, number three. So if you're an Asian and hindi mo kaya yung homesick, kasi nga Asian, Filipino, ay uh, very family oriented. So pag hindi mo kaya na iwanan ng pamilya mo, yun ang makakalaban mo. Unless pumunta ka dito ng buong pamilya. Wala naman problema daw. So, if you can beat homesick, why not? For the future, then go. So, yun lang. Yun lang. Kaya nga, kadalasan mga kababayan natin, um, umuwi, kung di man yearly or every other year. Kaya lang kasi nga, pag mga Asian countries, napakalayo ng distansya sa Canada. Diba? So, you really can't go home every time. So, ang mahal pa ng ticket. So, pero if you can manage to go away from your family, then go. Number four, if you are not a risk taker, then don't go. But if you are, then proceed. Kasi bakit risk taker? Kasi sa umpisa pa lang, mag-apply ka pa lang, ang laka na ng pera ka kailanganin mo ang daing magagastos and then pagdating dito hindi man agad-agad na magkakaroon agad ng trabaho di ba? so parami kang mga consideration na 
gagawin. Kung wala kang pamilya dito or wala kang kaibigan, wala kang kamag-anak, adjustment, culture, uh, environment, weather. So, pero kung risk taker ka nga at gusto mo talaga yung adventure, then this is for you. Support kita dyan. <laughs> By the last one, number five, if you think healthcare uh, is totally or absolutely free, uh, no, no, no. Uh, case to case, maybe if you're hospitalized, yeah, it's totally free. And uh, medicine is free inside the hospital, but outside, it's not totally free. So it depends. Ito hindi libre yung tenta hindi libre yung optical therapy physical therapy something like that so hindi libre yun. so we are this medyo mahabang discussion yun about the healthcare pero i'm telling you it's not absolutely free a video and then about that the waiting period or waiting time the healthcare Canadians get within the country can vary depending on where you live. That includes wait times for different types of care, from the time of a referral to getting the treatment they need. Saskatchewan has the shortest median total wait at 15 weeks. However, people in New Brunswick are waiting 10 months, the longest in the country. And this problem is getting worse. Compared to 1993, it looks like all Canadians are waiting weeks longer to get the care they need. And the rise in wait times is happening despite the fact that Canada had more physicians in 2018 than it did the year before. The latest numbers saying it had nearly 90,000 of them. Physicians don't necessarily work full-time. Many physicians will work part-time and do other things. Because physicians work on what we call fee-for-service, so when they do a service, they get a fee paid to them from the government. They can make a pretty good income, many of them, by not working full-time, so they choose to do that. 